Great resource slimes devlog number 10. Gooey insanity is what's happening today, so let's freaking go. What really bothered me was the not working site inventories, so first of all I decided to tackle those and luckily Nuppy Nuppy had an example for me that made the implementation about a hundred times easier. So first of all, thank you for that, and second of all, all block entities more or less now have sited inventory support. Pretty awesome indeed. But that's not the cool or flashy thing I did, oh no. People are asking me, how do you get the resource slimes? Well, the simple answer is this. You need a slime incubation station, and at first I thought you would get an item with which you can then spawn the slime. However, that would be another 55 items or so added into the game, and eh, I don't really like the idea right now. So I decided against the item, and actually wanted to make the block entity spawn the slime itself, and that was way more straightforward to implement than you might think. Okay, so now what we should see... It worked! Uh, excuse me? Can we get some Kaltenpogs in the chat over here? It freaking works? Um, hello? Hello? Yo! But, shouldn't this have spawned like 64 of them? That would have been really bad over here. That would have been really bad. Um, wow. Salt. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Exactly. That's what I want to see. It, it worked. Look at this, right? I put a slime ball in here, copper ingot of this guy. Now, you know, crazy things happen, but... A copper slime spawns! Yo, this is freaking awesome. Now, the block entity spawning the slime is pretty awesome, but people need visuals. That's what I'm saying. Cool and flashy. Of course, people want to know what's going on. So, with the help of some of Dirty Wordy's code, I was able to render a slime inside the GUI. Take a look at this. Okay, let's see. I cannot believe this. Dirty Wordy. The absolute mad lad. That's really awesome already. But not only that, I also got it to show up in the JEI interface. So, now, it's really all coming together. I'm gonna press U. And then what should come up is this, you know, this um, JEI interface with a slime rendered in inside of it. And that's going to be a yes. Okay, so this is pretty good. So it's right here. And if I click on this, we should see a rendered slime. Hey, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Look at it. I mean, is this not just the best thing? Ever? Like, come on, man. I can actually cycle through them. Yo, it's so good! And of course, a slime in a GUI, that's pretty exciting already. But how about a slime that grows via a custom block entity renderer and gets bigger until it actually turns into a real slime? Yeah, you heard right. Take a look at this. Look at this. Come on. D like, tell me that this is not awesome. That this is here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. And then... Boop. There it is. Boop. Huh? Of course, there's some tweaks and numbers that might need to be changed, but honestly, this is freaking awesome. I really enjoyed this, and while rendering usually is a bit of a mess to get through, man, once it works, it is magical. Absolutely amazing. There's some more tiny cleanups that have to be made, such as custom tooltips for the slimes when they're growing, and I also want to add some additions to the JEI interface, but honestly, we're inching ever closer and closer to something functional, and something that is better and better with each devlog. As always, of course, there are more and more exciting things planned for the future, but for the time being, that is the bulk of what I did so far. You can always catch me live Mondays and Wednesdays on Twitch 6pm CEST, and I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah.